I'm a storyteller. Uh, I began as a journalist, as a newspaperman here in Baltimore. Uh, and then when newspapers began to go bad in the mid-90s, um, I had an opportunity to learn the craft of television drama uh, because one of my books was being made into a television show. And it was filming right here in Baltimore, so I, I got to uh, learn another craft. But that was about 16 years ago, and here I am. The Wire was an, was an opportunity to tell stories about where we are as a society using narrative fiction to make some of the arguments we would have made with journalism. The argument that we had to make about the American drug war went so much further because we managed to do it in a manner that created a narrative where people could watch characters on a screen. Ultimately, Baltimore and the underclass is a hard and practical reflection of what's happening in America. So if you look at these pieces uh, carefully, I think, The Wire, The Corner, uh, Generation Kill, Treme, you're looking at ruminations on the end of empire, on what it is like to, uh, uh, for a society no longer have to have the will to pull itself as a whole, as a single entity, forward. It, it, is, it is a recipe for the disenfranchisement of significant portions of the country and a divorce of one America from the other. And, and so that's what we're exploring. We're currently working on a project called Treme, which is about New Orleans after Katrina. It's really a story about culture. In a way, it's an affirming story about what we Americans are capable of. To be told that you've won a MacArthur Fellowship is, is very flattering and, and gratifying, personally, as, as everyone might expect. But it's humbling in the sense that I know one voice is not sufficient. To, to tell a story over 50 or 60 or 70 hours of television. For that, what you really need is, is a collective. On a practical level, I'm a TV producer and, uh, and storyteller who is not, who's gone about as long as you can go without achieving a mass audience. I have no currency other than things, other than moments like this. Uh, I'll admit it, which is, I can't go in and wave Emmy Awards and I can't go in and wave Nielsen ratings when I try to get one of these stories told. I can, however, do these stories that actually are not so much about what's on the entertainment page, but maybe about what's on the op-ed, and, and, and maybe about what, what needs to be discussed rather than what's easy to discuss.